Hi, I'm Jesse Keith from Black Gold and Sunger Horticulture, an Ask a Garden expert. And someone wrote up into us with a question. Um, the question came from Karen of Rougemont, North Carolina. And Karen asks, are raised beds easy to grow in and maintain? Also, during the winter, can I put a tarp type greenhouse cover over them to help protect the vegetables from the cold? Well, raised beds are very easy to grow in um, once you get them started. And you can put various covers over them to help protect vegetables from winter cold, especially further south in North Carolina. So let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of raised bed gardening. There are many benefits to growing in raised beds and a few downsides. Here are some of the pros and cons of raised bed gardening, followed by methods to help maintain your garden through winter. Pro 1. Deeper, lighter soil. If you fill your raised beds with good soil from the start, it helps root crops grow deeper and all plants set deeper roots for higher yields. We recommend using either black gold natural and organic raised bed and potting mix or one part ground soil to one part black gold garden compost blend. Top off the soil or amendment yearly. Pro 2. Easier weeding. Raised beds have looser soil, are higher, and often cover a smaller area, making them easier to weed. It's also easier to harvest after rain and stay clean when beds are surrounded by pebble, straw, or cut grass. Pro 3 easier to harvest and plant. Because they're raised, the beds are easier to harvest and replant. Pro 4, easy planting and rotation. When you have just a few geometric beds, it's easier to design plantings for yearly rotation. Rotation is essential for many crops, like tomatoes, that feed heavily and have disease problems. Here are some of the cons of raised bed gardening. Con 1, Initial high cost. Raised beds are not inexpensive to install if you start out right. Con number two, less space for big crops. Unless your beds are large and you have trellising, you have less space for large crops like vining pumpkins, squash, and melons, or multiple rows of corn. Con number three, they need replacement. Eventually, your beds will need to be replaced. Metal and plastic options last longer. Cedar raised beds also are long lasting. Never use treated wood to create raised beds because the wood contains heavy metals that can leach into the soil and be taken up by crops. There are several covers that you can add to raised beds for frost protection. Floating hoop covers are the easiest and best insulating covers for extending grow time in raised beds. You can also consider adding a cold frame to your raised bed plan. They make it easier to continue growing herbs and greens through winter. Happy raised bed gardening!